Hey guys, welcome back. This is another smartphone production tip. And first of all, I would like to thank you Evolutive Labs for sending me the review units for the Google Pixel XL. So I got a couple of uh, cases here that I will be dropping very soon, hopefully by tomorrow, day after tomorrow. And there is one Rhino Shield Impact Protection. So this is not the first time I'm using that. Already I have used that on my OnePlus 3 uh, right here, which I'm filming right now. And also on my Nexus 6P, which already I have uh, fortunately I'm still using that it's almost two months exactly 25th September I started using that and today is 24 so almost 60 days I'm using so in this video we'll be just checking again whether what you should be using this impact protection on your phone or not and some of the pros and cons after two months of usage so starting here before we go ahead guys I wanted to show you how does it looks like after two months of usage so you can see there are a lot of uh, scratches there but to remind you, this is not a scratch protection. This is against the impact protection. So there is no guarantee that you should not be getting any scratches at all. This Rhino Shield, they claims that some of the unique properties, this is impact resistance. So in this video, I'm not going to do any kind of hammer test. I'm doing a drop test with this case here. So because I only deal with the standard day-to-day -day life situations like keeping your phone in the pocket or dropping accidentally from three to four with nobody's throwing a hammer on their phone. So this is the entire fingerprint. Definitely they are entire fingerprint. This is the regular tempered glass. If I just touch here, you can see I got a well thumbprint here and here if you touch it. So most of the things goes here. So that is true here. So this is scratch resistant. Sorry, Rhino Shield, this is not a scratch resistant. So I won't say this is a scratch proof, but that happens with all tempered glasses. If you use any tempered glass in a general, you can get a lot of scratches. So if you really want a detailed scratch protection, use such thing here. Otherwise, you can see it has a lot of scratches after six months. So that thing happens. Moving to the next here. So this they claim that if you drop your phone flat or 30 degree, so that's sort of they are protected against that. Now it's time to see how much is the protection coverage on when you apply that on your phone. So if you just take it out, you're going to get fun film one dusting solution one cloth and one card to apply it properly so dust removal sticker couple of them a card a good microfiber cloth really just nice so they have a nice cutout for your earphone for your fingerprints for your sensors right here and for your camera cutout too so that is a uh, adhesive side this is for size so you have to applying that way so let's see whether it is fitting perfectly or not all right guys so it has been installed and looks pretty nice you can see so what i like really about this they have really completely covered the screen only so as said this is a bit of 2.5d curve from edges so it's not going to cover completely you're going to get moisture so they have exactly managed to cover the complete screen and the sensors cutouts are perfect earphone is perfect camera cutout is perfect so this is the best here so compared to the one old here so they do made a good design cuttings for all the things and they try to cover as much as possible on our initial testing for this class here we did found that it got a bit of scratches when we try to scratch with here so if i do the same again you can see even though it has a lot of scratches but uh, tv scratches it takes carefully now time for some scratching test first start with you know they say it is an entire fingerprint so right now you can see it's completely clean if i just touch it once so i can see my thumb impressions here i'm not sure up to what extent it is a fingerprint entire fingerprint it has only a bit coating so because the same i am getting on other phones too so but yeah they do manage to absorb and it's not visible if you look in that way so that is fine in terms of that all right it's now time for some standard coin and scratching test whether it can protect from some let's take a couple of coins and start do we have any scratch so i'm rubbing very hardly let's try to clean that up and see how much protection and 
Tambah satu rupiah ke atas ini. Even though we can see there are some scratch marks with the coins, but there is no impact marks left with the phone. Dinosaur is about the impact protection. That is more important because these scratches you won't notice if you unlock your phone. So about for day-to-day -day usage, your phone is completely protected against smaller drops uh, with this impact shield on it. This is how it looks uh, in terms of visibility and touch and smoothness is all great. I did not have any issues and that I guess they have improved the quality of the screen because what I had in the 6P doesn't have that much clarity but this looks really great and they almost they perfectly cover so here's one video if I just play here so you can see hey guys, welcome back. there's no any issues like is something overlapping the screen and not so works fine not a problem also the visibility and viewing angle you can see is almost great there's no any issues after applying the skin here that impact protection sometimes if you drop coins like that so they do get damaged easily so these are heavy coins so they are not going to get any here to drop any scratches perfectly safe so you not you don't have any issues when you drop something stay tuned i am just going to apply rhino shield uh, this uh, cash card and i will be testing whether it survives that things or not so stay tuned guys i'm going to use that for at least a couple of weeks from now and let's see if we're going to get any better results after day to day usage or not so that's it for this video this is sarab we'll catch you next video thanks for watching